Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Sucre with the Arizona Trauma Association, and this is Trauma in a Flash. Exsanguinating the hemorrhage is a leading cause of mortality in trauma patients. While open resuscitated thoracotomy has been the standard of care for patients with exsanguinating hemorrhage that arrive in extremis, more recently, resuscitative endovascular balloon occlusion of the aorta, aka Reboa, has gained popularity. Reboa effectively replaces aorta cross clamping and it comes with the benefit of a minimally invasive approach by the percutaneous access of the common femoral artery and it avoids the surgical insult of a thoracotomy. Although Reboa is a relative newcomer in the trauma toolbox, it was originally described in 1956 when Hughes published his case series of three patients from the Korean War. In this paper, he described the use of a novel balloon catheter for endovascular aortic occlusion. Over the following decades, there were only sporadic reports published in the trauma literature. However, vascular surgeons did adopt the technique for use in patients with ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysms. More recently, improvements in catheter design have facilitated easier placement with the likely benefit of decreasing access-related complications. The American College of Surgeons Committee on Trauma with the American College of Emergency Physicians publish a joint statement regarding the clinical use of Reboa. Some highlights are, there is no current high-grade evidence that clearly demonstrates Reboa improves outcomes or survival compared to the standard treatment of severe hemorrhage. Indications for Reboa remain the same is that for a resuscitated thoracotomy. Contraindications of Reboa include penetrating trauma to the chest where the definitive surgical intervention is needed and known or suspected aortic injury. Complications of Reboa include injury to the femoral artery at the site of access, leg ischemia distal to the access site, aorta iliac injuries including disruption of the vessels, spinal cord injury, or end organ failure due to prolonged ischemia and even death. The American College of Surgeons recommends formal completion of the ACS Committee on Trauma Basic Endovascular Skill for Trauma, aka BEST course. Additionally, the surgeon should have proficiency in ultrasound guided and open cut down cannulation of the common femoral artery. In our next video, we'll show techniques for Reboa placement and discuss some tips. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Trauma in a Flash.